Well, if you're looking to buy incandescent light bulbs, you could have a tough time finding them. Some major stores no longer sell them, and under federal law, they're going to be phased out starting next year. The alternatives are called CFLs and LEDs. And here to explain what they are, Jason Cochran of WalletPop.com. Jason, good to see Hi you there. this morning. Uh, I know some people are adverse to change, especially when it comes to something big like this, which is light bulbs. And, and those incandescent bulbs have been around for so many years. Why is there all of a sudden this push to change them out? They're not very efficient, essentially. Yeah. They're cheap. They cost about 50 Seven cents each, but they use about four times the power of the new kind of bulb. You know how they get hot when you want to sure, change them. Yep. You know, that's not a good thing. That means that they're wasting most of their energy on heat. Ninety percent of the uh, energy that they consume actually is wasted in heat, and only ten percent goes to powering the room. So these new bulbs that they're coming in with actually last longer, cost a little bit more to buy, yeah. but in the end, you're, it'll hurt less in your yeah, pocket. You'll save your money. Yeah. What, what is the one I guess pro for for those older light bulbs? Yeah, the light's a little warmer. Uh, people like that. They're they're dimmable. The new kinds of bulbs, they're still figuring out how you can dim them without changing the wiring in your home. Yeah. Uh, so those are two things people like. And plus, again, they're cheap on the front end, if not on the back end. Okay. Out with the old, and now let's bring in the new, right. which are, are situated between us right now. Um, you talk about CFLs and LEDs. CFL stands for Compact Fluorescent Lamps. Uh, how long do these last? How much more efficient are they? The CFLs generally last about seven years, some a little less, some a little more, um, which is about ten times longer than one of those Edison incandescent bulbs that we've been talking about. And uh, over the life of the bulb, uh, the seven years, it'll yeah. be a, a equivalent of about this many, essentially, maybe Got even it. a few more. Uh, and you'll spend about $25 to maintain that bulb over the seven years. These you'd spend about well, nearly 100 So you're, you're saving about you know 70 plus bucks. And the CFLs are also better for the environment, and that's one of the big reasons behind this push. Well, yes and no. I mean, they're, um, they're, they're burning less carbon or creating less carbon, okay. but when you get rid of them, um, there's a little bit of mercury in them. So you have to be very careful about how you dispose of them. So I wouldn't say they're necessarily better for the environment um, at the end if you break them. Yeah, sometimes they have to be recycled, or your, your city or your county may require a certain method of getting rid of them. So, mm, it, yes and you also no. have to be very careful with them, with the installation, with the handling, because they're very sen they can break very easily. They can you break. You want to be careful. Yeah, you don't want to maybe use them in your kid's room where they can knock it over, and the mercury inside can yeah. possibly, you know, mercury is not something you want to play around with. All right, let's talk about the LED right now, light-emitting diode, and these are really really pricey though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. See, but this is the thing. They're, they cost maybe about $40 a bulb. Sorry, there's one that here yeah. closest to you. Sure. But they can last as long as 23 years. You oh. think about that. So you, you multiply, you know, uh, one of these uh, LE, the L, uh, CFL bulbs by five. So 50,000 hours of light you get out of these things. So that 40 bucks eventually will end up costing you maybe about $100, including the electricity, over the entire life of the bulb. You're saving a lot of money. And I guess people should be aware that they still do have three years. The incandescent bulb will still be around for three more 2014, years. 2014, they're 2014 pretty much going to be gone. When they're totally being yeah. phased out. There are pluses and minuses to all of these, uh, yeah. really. But if you've got to spend the money in the beginning to save it in the end, it might actually be worth it. You know, they're still working out some kinks with the LEDs, like the light can be directional. Again, they're not easy to dim. Um, but ultimately, I think it's like the MP3 yeah. of the light bulb world. And, you know, we're moving from vinyl. CFLs might be the cassette. Yeah. Pretty soon we're going to be all using LEDs, I guess, with another generation, I would guess. Jason Cochran, thanks again. Sure. Good to see you.